Yeah. My Uncle Joe lived at this campus. This is where we're right in the Fernald campus, now called the Fernald Center. But back when he was here, it was the Fernald State School. So this is his home. This is where he was told, you know, he's, uh, in the film My Uncle Joe, he, I, I said he was told when to dress, he was told when to get up, when to go to sleep. And he was a really independent, independent guy. He uh, lived out from, 18, from, from 1978 to uh, till 2000. Five in, in Quincy and then Weymouth. How was it that somebody as independent as Joe ended up at a place like Fernald that seemed so inappropriate a setting for him? So the film about my uncle was a profile of my uncle, and then the, the film about Fernald, the more recent one, Frontwards Backwards, was a look at what this place means and what it means when we create metaphorical and real walls around people. Bill Rogers' film which is screening at the Museum of Fine Arts, explores the history of the Fernald Center for the Retarded, which his Uncle Joe, a beloved figure in Weymouth, once called home. His study of library archives on the campus in Waltham, which included writings by Fernald founder Samuel Gridley Howe, revealed how attitudes have changed toward those with developmental disabilities since 1848, when Fernald was founded. At the time, in the 1840s, Idiots was the general category of anybody who just couldn't do anything. You describe as an idiot. Um, Howe actually created different designations. So he said idiots were the most severely disabled people who can't have a hard time with language and even movement in a lot of cases. Fools were moderately disabled, and he sort of created different categories of what they could and couldn't do. And then the simpleton was what we would call borderline, um, uh, mildly disabled, mildly developmentally disabled. There's always been this notion that people with developmental disabilities are sort of innocent of their condition. And society sort of goes back and forth on that in terms of whether they're responsible or not. And that, that's where a lot of the stuff that happened with uh, the eugenics movement. You know, we need to put these people away for the good of society. The institution was formed in uh, 1848 was when it first got, it, got its grant. And then this campus started in 1890. They're really set up like apartments, set up around a common area and then a series of bedrooms off of the common area and designed to be much more like um, residences rather than the quintessential institution or the names of the people who are here. What's their story? You know, the people who come before you. <coughs> so. V loves MP. Who knows how long ago that was? Dom. Huh. Huh. But it's just such char I mean, such character. For more information on Rogers Film and the Fernald Center, read the Patriot Ledger or visit PatriotLedger.com. For the Patriot Ledger, I'm Jack and Canarcio.